What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been quite a long time since I've actually done an unboxing and a first impressions of some audio equipment. In front of us today, I have for you a big box good. I picked up these JBL Live 650 BT noise cancellation headphones from Best Buy. They were about $212.99. Sales tax here in Florida is 6%, so it might be different depending on where you live, but nonetheless, you can pick up these headphones at your local Best Buy anywhere across the country. Today, I wanted to do an unboxing and a first impression and actually I wanted to see if they compared at all to the Sony WH-1000XM3 wireless headphones I reviewed about a month and a half ago. Uh, what is similar to the Sony's that I reviewed a month ago is the color scheme and I'm not talking about the box I'm talking about the headphones themselves they're actually black with some copper accents around the JBL logo here as you can tell by looking at the box so with that being said they look a little bit similar but do they sound similar you can activate a voice assistant uh, Amazon Alexa or the Google assistant we'll have to see if it works with Siri uh, on the box JBL is advertising 20 hours of battery life with active noise cancellation turned on and they're advertising 30 hours of battery life with active noise cancellation turned off. They're also showing 15 minutes of charge equals two hours of listening time. What's really cool about these headphones is they actually come with a wireless or a touchpad on the side so that you can make and receive calls and maybe activate the voice assistant. We'll have to play around with that a little bit. In the box, they come with a aux cable so that you can plug them into a three and a half millimeter headphone port if you'd like. And what else do we have here? We have uh, a comfort fit fabric headband, which can see that from the box. It actually looks pretty nice. So today we're gonna to be doing an unboxing of the first impressions. And if I can recall correctly, compare them to the Sony's that I reviewed a month and a half ago. So let's go ahead and get into the box here. We're greeted with this really nice presentation so far. Uh, it looks like we get an orange charge cable. It looks like micro USB. So USB to micro USB, not USB type C like we get on the Sony's, which is a little bit unfortunate because USB C has become a popular method for charging and syncing. So it would be really nice to see something like that on these headphones. This looks like a three and a half millimeter jack to a proprietary jack that goes into the bottom of the headphone. So at least you'll be able to use it one way. You can't use it both ways, unfortunately, but at least one way. Nonetheless, these are some wireless headphones. So for the most part, you shouldn't have to worry about plugging them in. So far, really nice build quality. I am really digging this fabric mesh headband. Uh, it feels durable. It doesn't feel like it's going to wear out anytime soon. I've never seen any material like this before. It like I said, it looks rugged. And on the side, we get the touchpad here. I think it's on the right hand side. And of course you get a Bluetooth pairing button as well as that headphone port right there so that you can plug it into a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You also get a plus and minus sign on the bottom here to turn the volume up and down and what looks to be a button to activate the voice assistant. On the top here, I believe this is the noise cancellation button. That may have been the power on and off button. Let's go ahead and bring in the handy dandy iPad and see how these guys sounds. We're gonna be doing, like I said, a first impressions of them and see how they compare to the Sony's that I reviewed earlier. You do not have to have any type of proprietary application to use these. You can just use Bluetooth, which is really nice so you can take them out of the box and connect them right away and start listening to them. Let's go ahead and see how they sound. Okay, so I listened to some royalty-free music, which I use in some of my videos. I listened to some rock and roll. I listened to some hip hop. Let's do about a song a piece. Right off the bat, I will say that they are a little bit muffled and they're not as clear as the Sony's. However, they are good value. They're very comfortable. The noise cancellation does work as advertised. Everything seems to work as advertised. One thing that I didn't try out was the voice assistant feature. With the iPad, I currently do not use uh, Google Assistant or Amazon Alexa, so uh, I don't think that I can activate Hey Siri. So let me go ahead and give this a shot. Hey Siri. I actually activated my phone over there, but that doesn't count. So, so far, they sound just okay. They're not going to sound as good as the Sony's, I don't think, or as good as the Bose. I think they were a little bit muffled sounding. They are very comfortable though. This mesh material feels very robust and very nice. You know, I don't think it's going to wear out on you anytime soon. You get the JBL logo on the top of the headphones here. Uh, everything looks to be of really great quality. So you're getting a really nice pair of headphones. And let me tell you something about headphones. When you buy them and you listen to them a while, they end up sounding pretty good anyway. So it's really all a matter of personal preference and a matter of personal taste. 
It doesn't matter what headphones you buy, they're all gonna sound pretty good. And they're always gonna be something, you know, when you come home from a long day, instead of listening to your ear pods or something, you know, throw these on. They've got noise cancellation, they're comfortable. You can really escape the world in these things and do so for quite a long time, given that they have 20 hours of battery life with active noise cancellation, or if you wanna use them without active noise cancellation, use them for 30 hours at a time. What's really cool is they're also advertising 15 minutes of charge equals two hours of, listen of listening time. These are a really nice pair of headphones, and like I said, the quality is there. Sound quality, not as good as the Sony's, but the Sony's are also almost $100 more. They're actually $349. They were at Best Buy today for $299, so they were down 50 bucks from what they normally are. Nonetheless, these are $100 cheaper. My name is John. I give these a thumbs up and approval. I will see you in the next video.